It's time to step it up and time to do a speed run. And we're gonna try to do it with the luck of Togwoggle. Candle Smash! The Madman! Togwoggle is simple. Get bag of coins. <laughs> the Togwoggle is simple. Just get bag of coins. Dropping your treasures now. I take mine. Go, go, go. I don't think that one's the best, actually. Oh, that sucks. One shot, one. We're looking for the fast wind fury to blow it out. Yeah, good enough though. Well, Get in there and fight, maggot. Don't be smart enough to smash. Ah, okay. Well. If I don't get the uh, cobalt back, it's a restart. Okay, got it. Kind of a. Uh, Slowish turn one, but we'll uh, see how good the treasure is. Andrew for farm, that's good. And sure, some cheap stuff. Be dropping your treasures now. I take mine. With the uh, hand of farm going on, I think greedy pickaxe is good enough to keep. Uh, just hit him for six, and that gets pretty much there. Let's see, four more damage there. I think I play underbelly fence first, and then I play greedy pickaxe, and that should be enough. Questing adventure. That's kind of like uh, Edwin Van Cleef. Edwin Van Cleef is the card you want. Intruding city detected. Defenses activated. Be dropping your treasures now. I take mine. I think if I don't get the bag of coins here, it's a restart. I've already gone a bit too slow, and the buckets haven't been insane. I'm gonna hit him with the pickaxe and think about if I want to remake. I'll play that. Let's see, so opponent's gonna be 17, 15, 13, and 7. Eh, this is pretty fast. The early game cursed like it. It is really fast. Actually, maybe it's a restart if you don't get uh, Rafam's hand. Hand of Rafam. This might actually have been faster than the coins. Well, yeah, these buckets have not been great. They got my bag. Be dropping your treasures now. I take <laughs> the candle. That's bad against this boss. That's real bad. Seven. 
That's a really good start. Bomb number two. Let's go. Let's go. I hear your heart beating. Be dropping your treasures now. I take mine. Okay, so that's eight a turn. That means four turn lethal. If I just toss in three damage. 35. Can I toss in more damage to turn it down to three turns? And is that faster? Probably really close. Let's see. So I need to get them down to uh, six damage a turn now. So nine. If I can deal three damage. Yeah. I'll just do this and pass. I guess I can kill him with Leroy. Unless I think passing kills him faster. I think pass is the faster way, yeah. Yeah, pass is definitely faster. So we're just looking to chip a little bit of damage onto the hands. Brought the city of Dalaran to me. <laughs> Be dropping your treasures now. I take mine. Okay, so that's 40 damage over five turns, but the Farron will play a hand next turn, I think. I have to get a little bit of chip damage in. Curse of Rafon. Six damage and then four damage. Get in there and fight, maggot. Try one. Right, only two damage. Okay. Good thing I got a few things up there. Yeah, that's probably faster. Questing for the high roll chance of the bag. Lose control. Be dropping your treasures now. I take mine. Mm, one minute, two one. Good enough, I suppose. Oh! 
So, it's lucky to get two hands, but it's unlucky to not draw the bag of coins ever. Probably most of the RNG in speedruns, though, comes from getting hand of the two treasures offered, which has got to be best. That's pretty good, though. Free to pickaxe into Leroy. Rag takes eight, and then eight. Six from the pickaxe, six from Leroy. Should be enough. Six damage, puts the 15, 12. Four damage, eight, Leroy. I'll add that just in case. Oops, that speeds it up by a turn. Okay. 14 minutes, one second. So you can do better than that, but I think it just requires a lot of repeat. Uh, clearly, the right strategy is restart if you don't get the hand, and then, sadly, on the second treasure pick, if you don't get the hand, also restart. <laughs>